The Anasazi civilization stands as a testament to the ingenuity, resilience, and cultural richness of pre-Columbian societies in the American Southwest. Flourishing for centuries in the arid landscapes of present-day Colorado, Utah, Arizona, and New Mexico, the Anasazi people left behind a profound legacy of architectural marvels, artistic achievements, and complex social structures that continue to intrigue scholars and enthusiasts alike. The term Anasazi, derived from the Navajo language, translates to ancient ones or ancient enemy. While it is a convenient label used by archaeologists and historians, it is essential to acknowledge the diverse cultural and linguistic groups that comprised the Anasazi civilization. These groups, including the ancestors of modern Pueblo peoples, inhabited the region from roughly 200 to 1300 CE, leaving behind a rich tapestry of cultural artifacts and archaeological sites that offer glimpses into their way of life. The basketmaker period, spanning from approximately 1500 BCE to 500 CE, represents a formative stage in the development of Anasazi culture. During this time, ancestral Pueblo people subsisted primarily through hunting, gathering, and rudimentary agriculture, cultivating crops such as maize, beans, and squash. Basketry played a crucial role in their daily lives, serving as containers for food storage, tools for gathering, and vessels for ceremonial purposes. The basket makers crafted intricately woven baskets using a variety of materials, including yucca fibers, willow branches, and grasses. These baskets exhibited remarkable craftsmanship and served as expressions of cultural identity and artistic creativity. The archaeological record also reveals evidence of early pottery production, indicating the gradual transition towards sedentary settlements and more complex social organization. The pinnacle of Anasazi civilization was reached with the emergence of Chaco Canyon as a cultural and ceremonial center during the 9th century CE. Located in present-day northwestern New Mexico, Chaco Canyon served as the nexus of trade, religious activity, and architectural innovation for centuries, drawing people from diverse cultural backgrounds to its imposing cliffs and expansive vistas. At the heart of Chaco Canyon lies the monumental complex of Pueblo Benito, a sprawling multi-story structure encompassing over 600 rooms and soaring to heights of five stories. Constructed using carefully shaped sandstone blocks and featuring intricate masonry and celestial alignments, Pueblo Benito stands as a testament to the architectural prowess and spiritual significance of the Anasazi people. Chaco Canyon also boasted a network of interconnected great houses, ceremonial kivas, and ancient roadways known as Chacoan Roads, which linked outlying communities to the canyon's cultural hub. These roads facilitated the exchange of goods, ideas, and religious practices, cementing Chaco Canyon's role as a vibrant and cosmopolitan center of Anasazi civilization. The influence of Chaco Canyon extended far beyond its immediate surroundings, shaping the cultural landscape of the entire American Southwest. Through trade networks, migration patterns, and shared religious beliefs, the teachings of Chacoan civilization permeated the region, leaving an indelible mark on subsequent generations of indigenous peoples. The Anasazi legacy can be seen in the construction of cliff dwellings, such as those found at Mesa Verde and Canyon de Che, which served as defensive strongholds and communal living spaces for surrounding communities. The artistic motifs of the Anasazi, expressed through petroglyphs, pottery designs, and ceremonial objects, reflect a deep reverence for the natural world and a profound connection to the spiritual realm. As the Anasazi civilization continued to evolve, new cultural centers emerged, such as the Mesa Verde region in present-day Colorado and the Cayenta area in northeastern Arizona. These sites, characterized by their elaborate cliff dwellings and intricate rock art, bear witness to the enduring legacy of Anasazi culture and its enduring impact on the landscape of the American Southwest. Pueblo Benito, the largest and most iconic structure in Chaco Canyon, represents the apex of Anasazi architectural innovation. Built over several centuries, from approximately 850 to 1150 CE, Pueblo Benito comprises over 600 rooms arranged in a complex, multi-story configuration. The imposing sandstone walls, meticulously crafted masonry, and intricate doorways bear witness to the skill and craftsmanship of the Anasazi builders. The layout of Pueblo Benito reflects a sophisticated understanding of celestial alignments and seasonal cycles, with certain rooms and passageways oriented towards key astronomical events such as the solstices and equinoxes. This architectural precision suggests a deep spiritual connection to the cosmos and a reverence for the natural world that guided the construction of this monumental complex. One of the most striking features of Anasazi architecture is the construction of cliff dwellings, which provided shelter, protection, and communal living spaces for surrounding communities. 
Carved into the sheer rock faces of canyons and mesas, these cliff dwellings exemplify the Anasazi's mastery of their environment and their ability to adapt to challenging landscapes. Sites such as Mesa Verde in Colorado and Canyon de Che in Arizona boast some of the most well-preserved cliff dwellings in North America, including structures such as Cliff Palace and Batatican. Constructed using locally sourced materials and employing innovative building techniques, these dwellings feature multi-story rooms, intricate masonry, and elaborate ventilation systems designed to maximize comfort and sustainability. In addition to Pueblo Benito, Chaco Canyon is home to a network of great houses and kivas that served as ritualistic and social centers for the surrounding communities. Great houses such as Chetro Quetl and Casa Rinconada feature expansive plazas, ceremonial rooms, and intricately designed architectural elements that reflect the spiritual and social significance of these structures. Kivas, subterranean ceremonial chambers found throughout the Anasazi world, played a central role in religious ceremonies, community gatherings, and social rituals. These circular rooms, often accessed by a ladder from the roof, served as focal points for communal life and spiritual expression, where prayers, dances, and ceremonies connected the Anasazi people to their ancestors and the divine. Maize, or corn, served as the cornerstone of Anasazi agriculture, providing a reliable source of sustenance and economic stability for the region's inhabitants. Through selective breeding and cultivation techniques, the Anasazi developed hardy varieties of maize capable of thriving in diverse soil conditions and climate regimes. The cultivation of maize enabled the Anasazi to transition from a nomadic lifestyle to sedentary settlements, fostering the development of complex social structures, trade networks, and cultural traditions. Maize was not only a staple food source but also held deep spiritual and symbolic significance within Anasazi society, reflected in religious ceremonies, artistic motifs, and communal rituals. The Anasazi's ability to harness water resources through sophisticated irrigation systems played a crucial role in their agricultural success. By diverting and channeling runoff from seasonal rains and melting snowpacks, the Anasazi were able to sustainably irrigate their fields, ensuring bountiful harvests and mitigating the impacts of drought and arid conditions. The construction of check dams, terraced fields, and canal networks allowed the Anasazi to maximize the efficiency of water usage and cultivate crops in areas where rainfall alone would not suffice. These engineering innovations reflect a deep understanding of hydrology, geology, and ecosystem dynamics, as well as a commitment to environmental stewardship and sustainability. Despite their ingenuity and resilience, the Anasazi civilization faced numerous challenges, including the impacts of climate change and environmental variability. Throughout their history, the Anasazi experienced periods of prolonged drought, erratic rainfall, and ecological instability, which tested the limits of their agricultural systems and social resilience. The decline of the Anasazi civilization, particularly during the late 12th and early 13th centuries CE, has been attributed in part to environmental factors such as prolonged drought, soil erosion, and resource depletion. These environmental stressors, combined with socio-political tensions and economic pressures, contributed to the abandonment of many Anasazi settlements and the dispersal of their descendants to new regions. Anasazi pottery stands as a testament to the artistic excellence and technical skill of the ancient Pueblo peoples. Characterized by distinctive designs, intricate patterns, and bold colors, Anasazi pottery served both utilitarian and ceremonial purposes, ranging from cooking vessels and storage containers to ritual objects and decorative items. The pottery traditions of the Anasazi evolved over millennia, reflecting regional variations in clay composition, firing techniques, and stylistic preferences. From the black-on-white designs of the Mesa Verde region to the red and orange hues of Cayenta pottery, each pottery tradition tells a unique story of cultural continuity and artistic innovation. Anasazi pottery motifs often incorporate geometric patterns, animal motifs, and symbolic imagery drawn from the natural world, such as birds, plants, and celestial symbols. These designs served as expressions of cultural identity, spiritual beliefs, and connections to the ancestral landscape, forging a visual language that continues to inspire awe and fascination among contemporary observers. The Anasazi left behind a rich legacy of rock art, including petroglyphs, carvings, and pictographs, paintings, which adorn canyon walls, cave interiors, and sacred sites throughout the American Southwest. These ancient artworks offer glimpses into the spiritual beliefs, ceremonial practices, and daily life of the Anasazi people, providing valuable insights into their worldview and cultural heritage. 
petroglyphs and pictographs depict a wide range of subjects, including human figures, animals, celestial bodies, and abstract symbols, each imbued with symbolic meaning and cultural significance. Some rock art panels serve as celestial calendars, marking the passage of time and the changing of seasons, while others depict mythological narratives, hunting scenes, and communal gatherings. Religious iconography played a central role in Anasazi spirituality, encompassing a rich pantheon of deities, spirits, and mythological beings that governed the natural and supernatural realms. Anasazi religious iconography is reflected in rock art, pottery designs, ceremonial objects, and architectural motifs, each symbolizing aspects of the divine, the sacred, and the cosmic order. Key religious symbols include the Kokopeli, a fertility deity depicted as a humpbacked flute player, the Thunderbird, a powerful avian spirit associated with rain and thunderstorms, and the Spiral, a universal symbol of creation, transformation, and spiritual journeying. These symbols were often incorporated into religious rituals, prayer offerings, and communal ceremonies, forging a deep spiritual connection between the Anasazi people and the forces of nature. At the heart of Anasazi society lay kinship networks, which served as the foundation of social organization, economic cooperation, and cultural identity. Extended families, or clans, formed the basic unit of Anasazi society, sharing resources, labor, and ceremonial obligations within tightly knit kinship groups. Kinship ties were reinforced through rituals, ceremonies, and reciprocal exchanges of goods and services, strengthening social bonds and fostering a sense of mutual obligation and solidarity. The practice of matrilineal descent, wherein lineage and inheritance were traced through the mother's line, played a crucial role in defining kinship relationships and regulating social roles and responsibilities. Leadership within Anasazi communities was often decentralized, with authority vested in elder councils, religious leaders, and respected members of the community who demonstrated wisdom, integrity, and consensus-building skills. While formal leadership positions existed within certain societies, such as the tribal chiefs of larger villages or the religious leaders of ceremonial complexes, decision-making was typically guided by principles of consultation, consensus, and collective deliberation. In Chaco Canyon and other regional centers, leadership roles were more centralized, with powerful elites exerting influence over political, economic, and religious affairs. These leaders, often associated with prominent lineages or ceremonial societies, wielded authority through their control of resources, access to trade networks, and ability to mobilize labor for monumental construction projects. Trade and exchange played a central role in the economic life of the Anasazi civilization, facilitating the circulation of goods, ideas, and cultural practices across vast distances and diverse landscapes. Through extensive trade networks, the Anasazi maintained relationships with neighboring societies, exchanging surplus crops, raw materials, luxury goods, and ceremonial artifacts in a spirit of reciprocity and mutual benefit. Chaco Canyon emerged as a major trading hub during the height of Anasazi civilization, linking distant communities through a network of roads, pathways, and trade routes that stretched across the southwestern United States. From turquoise mined in the mountains of present-day Arizona to macaw feathers imported from the tropical forests of Mesoamerica, Chacoan traders facilitated the flow of goods and commodities that sustained the economic vitality of Anasazi society. Numerous theories have been proposed to account for the decline and abandonment of Anasazi settlements, ranging from environmental catastrophes to socio-political upheaval. Some scholars argue that prolonged drought, soil erosion, and agricultural exhaustion contributed to food shortages, famine, and societal collapse, forcing Anasazi communities to abandon their ancestral homelands in search of more hospitable environments. Others point to socio-political tensions, resource competition, and internal strife as driving forces behind the disintegration of Anasazi society, citing evidence of violence, conflict, and social upheaval in the archaeological record. The collapse of centralized authority, the breakdown of trade networks, and the erosion of social cohesion may have further exacerbated the vulnerability of Anasazi communities in the face of external pressures and environmental challenges. Environmental factors played a significant role in the decline of the Anasazi civilization, with prolonged drought, erratic rainfall, and ecological degradation disrupting agricultural productivity, undermining food security, and destabilizing fragile ecosystems. The Anasazi relied heavily on maize cultivation, irrigation systems, and sustainable land management practices to sustain their communities in the arid landscapes of the American Southwest. However, prolonged periods of drought, such as the Great Drought of the late 12th century CE, 
placed immense strain on Anasazi agricultural systems, leading to crop failures, water shortages, and food shortages. Soil erosion, deforestation, and overexploitation of natural resources further degraded the ecological resilience of Anasazi landscapes, exacerbating the vulnerability of local communities to environmental shocks and climatic variability. Socio-political disintegration and migration patterns played a pivotal role in the unraveling of Anasazi society, as competing factions, rival groups, and marginalized populations vied for control of scarce resources, territory, and political power. The collapse of centralized authority, the fragmentation of social cohesion, and the breakdown of traditional leadership structures eroded the stability and resilience of Anasazi communities, leaving them vulnerable to external threats and internal divisions. The abandonment of monumental settlements, such as Chaco Canyon and Mesa Verde, has been attributed to the mass migration of Anasazi populations seeking refuge in more remote and defensible locations, such as the Rio Grande Valley and the Hopi Mesas. Archaeological evidence suggests that Anasazi communities underwent a process of gradual depopulation, dispersal, and resettlement in response to changing environmental conditions, economic pressures, and socio-political upheaval. The cultural legacy of the Anasazi is evident in the customs, ceremonies, and kinship ties of modern Pueblo cultures, which trace their lineage and heritage to the ancient peoples who once inhabited the mesas, canyons, and plateaus of the American Southwest. The architectural styles, artistic motifs, and religious practices of the Anasazi are echoed in the Pueblo villages, Kiva ceremonies, and pottery traditions of contemporary Pueblo communities, reflecting a deep reverence for ancestral traditions and a commitment to cultural continuity. The sustainability practices of the Anasazi offer valuable lessons for addressing contemporary environmental challenges, promoting ecological resilience, and fostering sustainable development in the 21st century. The Anasazi's mastery of dryland agriculture, water management, and soil conservation techniques demonstrates the importance of adapting to local ecosystems, conserving natural resources, and building resilient communities capable of weathering environmental uncertainties. By embracing principles of ecological stewardship, traditional ecological knowledge, and indigenous wisdom, modern societies can learn from the successes and failures of the Anasazi civilization, integrating ancient practices with innovative solutions to create more sustainable, equitable, and resilient futures for generations to come. The preservation and interpretation of Anasazi archaeological sites raise important ethical considerations regarding cultural heritage, indigenous rights, and public access to sacred landscapes. Indigenous communities have long advocated for greater recognition of their ancestral ties to the land, asserting sovereignty over sacred sites, burial grounds, and cultural artifacts that are central to their identity and spiritual beliefs. Archaeological tourism, while promoting public awareness and appreciation of Anasazi culture, must be conducted in a manner that respects the dignity, privacy, and cultural sensitivities of indigenous peoples, ensuring that sacred sites are protected from exploitation, desecration, and commercialization. Collaborative approaches to heritage management, involving indigenous communities, academic institutions, and governmental agencies, can help foster dialogue, reconciliation, and mutual respect among diverse stakeholders invested in the preservation and interpretation of Anasazi heritage. The legacy of the Anasazi people extends far beyond the ruins of their ancient cities and the artifacts of their material culture. It lives on in the traditions, languages, and spiritual beliefs of modern Pueblo communities who trace their ancestry to the ancient ones. It resonates in the rhythms of the land, the songs of the wind, and the whispers of the ancestors that echo through the canyons and mesas of the American Southwest. The Anasazi remind us of the interconnectedness of all life, the fragility of civilizations, and the resilience of the human spirit in the face of adversity. As we reflect on the achievements and challenges of the Anasazi civilization, let us honor their memory with humility, curiosity, and reverence. Let us embrace the lessons of their sustainability practices, their cultural resilience, and their spiritual wisdom as we confront the pressing environmental and social challenges of our time. And let us celebrate the enduring legacy of the ancient ones who once walked these sacred lands, inspiring us to cherish the past, live in harmony with the present, and envision a future guided by wisdom, compassion, and respect for all living beings. In the footsteps of the Anasazi, may we embark on a journey of discovery, preservation, and renewal, forging a path towards a more just, sustainable, and harmonious world for generations to come.